start with the operation in this instrument. After the determination of MDF we proceed further with the sample measurement. Neutralize the methanol. If some time has lapsed after neutralizing the methanol, press the start key again. Depending upon the time lapsed, the KF reagent will be added to the methanol to make it moisture free again. Meanwhile keep the wave sample ready for introducing into the titration vessel. Press start key. The run LED glows indicating that the titration is in progress. Display shows inject for 10 seconds. When the sample is added to the moisture-free methanol, the moisture in sample starts dissolving in the methanol. As soon as the moisture is sensed by the K.F electrode, add LED glows and the Carl Fischer solution starts adding into the titration vessel. The glowing of add LED indicates the presence of moisture and at the same time, the KF reagent is added into the titration vessel by the motorized dispenser. The display indicates the quantity of KF reagent added into the titration vessel. Show display, the add LED goes on and off indicating the transient end points. Show LED. When all the moisture is neutralized, the instrument confirms the end point for about 20 seconds, time or time default, to see that the end point so detected is not a transient one. If it is, then the add LED again glows and KF solution again enters the titration vessel. This process continues until the solution is in a complete moisture-free state for nearly 20 seconds, set by timer time. When this state is reached, the end LED glows and the horn blows for about 5 seconds indicating that the end point is reached. The run LED stops glowing indicating that the titration is over. The display shows the quantity of KF reagent consumed to neutralize the moisture in the sample. The stop key can be used at any time to terminate the titration in progress. We can temporarily suspend the titration by pressing the pause key can be any time while the titration is in progress. To continue the titration further, press the pause key again. The titration starts from the point you previously pressed the pause key. Note, if the KF reagent being added goes beyond 25 milliliters, the system automatically goes into the hold state that is the pause mode, the pause LED glows and the buzzer sounds. To resume the titration, either press the pause key or to terminate the titration, press the stop key. After reaching end point here we ready for results. The reading on the digital display indicates the amount of KF reagent added into the titration vessel for neutralization of the moisture. The sample added is 25 microliters, factor of KF reagent is. Now, to find out the amount of moisture present in the sample in percent or ppm units, the following steps should be followed. Press the SMPL key. The display shows apostrophe underscore underscore dot o o o o. The decimal position is fixed. To enter the volume 25 microliters, press the 00, 0 and 02 keys. Display shows 20.0 underscore underscore. Press the enter key. Display shows. Suppose the sample taken is liquid and its density is 0 0.94, press the den key. Display shows underscore dot o o o o. To enter the density as 0 0.94, press 0, 9, 4, keys. Now to measure the moisture present in percentage, press the percent key. The percent LED glows. To measure the moisture present in ppm, press the ppm key. Now we can store the input in the machine memory. The microprocessor KF moisture titrator can store up to 20 latest readings in its memory. For storing the readings in the memory after the endpoint is reached and the sample weight, or sample volume and density, are entered, press, key followed by, store, key. Display shows B underscore o o o Now enter the batch no. For the sample to be stored. Printing of results show video while operation. The user can print any of the 20 results stored in the memory. For this, the following procedure is followed. 
Attach the Centronics parallel printer followed by Pressing, Print, Key The display shows the most recent batch No. Entered To print the data, press, Enter, Key The complete information is printed If some other stored batch is to be printed, press the Print, Key repeatedly until the display shows the required batch No. When the required batch No. Is displayed on the display, press the Enter key. The data for that batch no is printed. If error E1 is displayed on the system, it indicates that the printer is not properly attached or there is some other problem. Show in video by making an error from printer cable detachment, rectify it, and try again. To come out of this mode without printing, press escape key before pressing the enter key. Displaying time. The instrument has an inbuilt system clock. Whenever the user wants to switch to time mode, the following key sequence is to be pressed. Press the key followed by time key. Show display. Displaying date. The instrument comes with an inbuilt calendar. To view the date, press the key followed by date key. The display shows date for 5 seconds and dd.m.ge format followed by sys ready, system ready, on the display. Setting the current time. The system clock can be set by pressing the following key sequence. Press, key followed by, set trademark, key, if not already in the time mode. If already in the time mode, press, set trademark, key. Setting the current date. To enter the set date, press the function, key followed by, set dt, key. The date can be entered into the system in dd. Um. Ye format. Show display. Extraction time can be changed depending on nature of sample. In most of the liquids or powered solids, the moisture is taken up by the vessel solution, methanol, immediately. But in certain viscous liquids and solids, they take certain time to extract the moisture. In such cases, some extraction time is needed to extract the moisture from them. To change the extraction time to any value, say 25 seconds, the following procedure is followed. Press the key followed by this time key. The display shows ET10. To change the time to 25 seconds, press 2, 5 keys followed by enter key. The new extraction time 25 seconds is entered. Cleaning of the equipment. It is of utmost importance to clean the instrument properly. All the glassware should be dry before putting the equipment in operation. Immediately after the titration is over, the titration vessel should be kept in such a way that the atmospheric moisture does not get into it. At the end of the day, the delivery tube should be cleaned properly so that the KF reagent does not deposit inside the tube. The following steps should be followed for proper cleaning. Fill the white 250 milliliters bottle to about half of its capacity with specially dried methanol. Exchange the adapter having delivery tube to this bottle containing methanol with that containing the KF reagent. Now to start cleaning. Press the function, key followed by, clean, key. The display shows clean. The methanol from 250 milliliters bottle starts flowing through the delivery tube into the titration vessel. The cleaning process continues for two minutes after which a horn is sounded indicating that the cleaning process is over. Calibrating the motorized dispenser show video with a screenshot of below mentioned procedure. The volume of KF reagent passing through the motorized dispenser can be calibrated using the following steps. Connect one end of the connecting tube to 10 milliliters burette and other end of the connecting tube to the motorized dispenser. Connect one end of another connecting tube to the out of the motorized dispenser and place the other end of the connecting tube to any beaker, flask. Take exact 10 milliliters of KF reagent in the burette. Press comma call, enter turn by turn. Display shows PRSTR. Press STR key. KF reagent starts coming out from the burette into the beaker, flask. P 
PR stop is being displayed on the display continuously. When exact 10 milliliters of KF reagent has come out from the burette, press stop key. Display shows Cal done, followed by says ready. In which case calibration of motorized dispenser needed. 1. During the sample analysis, if the display shows 0.00 milliliters but the dispenser motor is rotating that is the liquid is being dispensed, and then the calibration of the motorized dispenser is required to be done again as described above. 2. If motor is moving at the normal speed but the display shows a very fast change of the volume of liquid being dispensed, then again the calibration of the motorized dispenser is required to be done.